This video isn't about The Kiss, a song sung by Freddie Mercury with an insane high note, as I'm sure you were expecting, but about Kiss, the band. One of the hardest notes ever sung by Kiss, in this case by Paul Stanley, because the Gene Simmons video is over here. Now wait, it's over here. Oh, why did I add the Freddie Mercury intro? Good and chill, like you know. But something Paul Stanley and Freddie Mercury do have in common is they're both incredibly great at singing opera. In this clip, we can hear him singing insane operatic high notes. This makes for spot number 5 as this list tries to capture all that Paul is able to do with his voice, which is really a lot. This operatic role, he also hit some insane low notes line. What could possibly be crazier than this for spot number 4? Perhaps Paul going 4 semitones higher also on a live show and singing the note uh, like 3 times for no other reason than just simply because he could and he's so great. <laughs> This is for the intro of Heavens on Fire, live in Sao Paulo in 1984, and it just proves how insanely great his vocal technique is. Spot number 3 is one of their craziest live performances ever in 1988. This next clip shows Paul going as high as E5s, which is the very, very upper limit of what male singers can usually belt. And he's making it sound effortless because he is a true master of mixed voice. If you were led to believe by evil vocal coaches that this is how mixed voice is produced, it's actually not the case because laryngeal mechanisms M2 and M1 cannot possibly, scientifically speaking, be mixed. If you want a scientific approach to producing high notes, just check out crazysinging.com. Now, spot number 2 is one of his highest notes ever, but also, in my opinion, the most beautiful one. This A5 is incredibly, incredibly difficult to control. But believe it or not, Paul is able to do this note in live shows. He can also produce incredibly distorted high screams, not just this beautiful falsetto, but massively distorted, with lots of harmonics, uh, in like G-sharp area. Now there is a note higher that he has sung, and that will be for spot number zero, but now his craziest vocal ever, his most aggressive one in my opinion, comes from a song called Master and Slave. It is incredibly difficult to add distortion at this D5, at this pitch, and he makes it sound so metal that he just has to take spot number one. Up and start to ah! Now, as a little bonus, spot number zero has Paul reaching a B5, two semitones higher than the falsetto in I Was Made For Loving You, but it blends with the pitch of the guitar being played, so it's barely hearable, but I thought it was an interesting note to add. Let me know in the comments which artist you'd like to see next, and perhaps the most upvoted comment uh, will get the next video.